Right on to the Rio, much love to these haters. It's time for the Lakers. It's time for the Lakers. Right on to the Rio, much love to these haters. It's time for the Lakers. It's time for the Lakers. Right on to the Rio, much love to these haters. It's time for the Lakers. It's time for the Man, what is happening, my YouTube family? Of course, it is your boy, B. New. I'm coming at you on this Monday. And first and foremost, as always, want to send out positive vibrations and blessings to anybody who could be listening. Now, with all that being said, we all know that the Los Angeles Lakers are set for action tonight. But I had to come to you bringing breaking news. And guess what? I had a show already prepared earlier today. And it was a pretty, it was a damn good show. If I do say so myself, I had a bunch of facts that I had accumulated and put together. Uh, just just some, some interesting things regarding LeBron James, which uh, something happened. And my download got messed up, so it was not to be. But, I guess, but guess what? I will be coming back. Uh, hopefully I can redo that tomorrow and also have a discussion about the results of tonight's game from the Los Angeles Lakers against the Denver Nuggets. But before I even get into that, we have some breaking, not so breaking news, which I had discussed on my previous show that got messed up, but there's not so much breaking news now. But LeBron James is out tonight, of course, nursing that sore ankle. And that's what I had said previously, that LeBron James threes has not been falling because of the sore foot and the ankle. We know he started off with left foot soreness to begin the year. Russell Westbrook has dealt with the same thing. But of course, LeBron rolled his ankle. Then somebody rolled into that same ankle a few weeks ago. And I'm telling you what, when they rolled into the ankle, I thought that was LeBron. I thought it was a wrap for him for quite some time, but he tied up his shoe. And of course, kept on trucking like LeBron James always does. Anybody else, they might would have missed it, missed an extended period of time already. But of course, we talking about LeBron James. So with all that being said, man, I, I cannot wait till tomorrow so, so I can let you know about the other. But also some more breaking news is Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has been not uh, diagnosed with a mild M MCL sprain, I think, uh, on his knee, which is not good news for the Nets, who I think have won 18 of the last 20 games, if I'm not mistaken, been 18 and two, if I am not mistaken. And a lot of that was due to the great play of Kevin Durant, who has been put in the MVP discussion. Sad thing about it is, you know, we did not see a Kevin Durant, LeBron James matchup since what, 2017, 2018. And, you know, we didn't get it again last year. We didn't get it again earlier this year. We thought that we would, but of course, LeBron James uh, was not healthy this go around when Kevin Durant came out to La La Land. And this time, it seems as though Kevin Durant will not be available uh, when LeBron James comes out to New York slash Brooklyn uh, when the Lakers take them on at the end of the month. So that's not so good news either. I was really pushing for the Nets, but who knows? Hopefully he can get healthy, come back and be impactful and we can see some great series in the playoffs because I'm telling you what, the East playoffs is going to be real nice this year and the West. I'm telling you what, the NBA uh, the NBA is actually in very much so very competitive league. I would say, you know, more competitive than it's always been. And I did want to talk about, you know, what we had talked about before as far as Popovich. You know, Popovich was saying Oh, let's make it a real circus, bring in four and five point shots and this and this and that. But I know a lot of people took what he was saying out of context because he was saying that they were talking about it's not great defense. But what he was saying is it is great defense. It's just harder to play great defense now because the floor is so spread out because it is unprecedented now the amount of players on every team who is capable of shooting threes which is a lot of people say is bad for the game but the pace is increased and when you swing the ball swing the ball of course the ball is always going to be faster than the person so when you have people breaking down defenses and kicking out to open shooters uh swinging the ball around the horn then it's just going to be a lot more difficult to defend versus back in the day you played inside out now you play outside in because a lot of times back then the game was slow down because you're just dumping in to post to whoever your big man is and they getting a whole lot of touches a game then they would bring the double and then they would kick out to open shooters whereas now you know you get a lot of pick and roll action and off those pick and rolls you can find open shooters depending on how the defense is broke broken down uh not with just pick and pop situations but i mean with open shooters on the side depending on people decide to come on help defense once somebody's beat off the screen and things of that nature so you know i don't think pop was saying that the defense is putrid he was just saying that the offense is at a level and you can go back and read the quote for yourself and listen to the video he was just saying that it is very hard to defend now because of the nature of the game and the three-point shooting he didn't say it was poor defense people are still playing the best defense you can but how can you really defend that it's going to be very difficult to de defend so you know i was looking at some stats too you know right now 
there's like 40 players. I want to say at least 40 players. I'm just going off memory that are uh, averaging at least 20 points a game in the NBA right now. Then I just took a random year like 96 or 97 at the peak. You know, Jordan, when he was getting his last of his six championships, there weren't even, there wasn't even maybe 20 players. I think it was 15 or 16 players at the most that was averaging 20 points a game. So you have players who are a lot more skilled offensively now and a lot more athletic. When Jordan was so athletic, there wasn't many players who could get with him on the levels of athleticism. But that has changed now because the league has become a lot more athletic. And, of course, there are players who transcend every generation because I still think that Bill Russell, with everything afforded to athletes today, would dominate in today's game. I also think Will Chamberlain would do the same with his strength, his size, his quickness, because these players were in the Olympics, were triple long jump champions and, you know, uh, uh, pole vault champions and everything else. So don't get it twisted and think that they were not athletic. That's not what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, if you look at the athleticism of a LeBron James, what he's doing right now is so unprecedented for him to be in year 20 at age 38, averaging 38 points for the past three games as a 38-year-old. You know, I do hate that they are not playing tonight, but I'm telling you what, I'm glad I didn't put my money down. I've been doing quite good off FanDuel and doing quite good off, uh, uh, what do you call that other one? DraftKings, you know, I've been doing quite good on those, usually making some good picks, and the Lakers have been kind to me, especially during live game action. But what I did notice was on yesterday, they had disrespected the Lakers or whatever on the last game and gave the Lakers like nine points, and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get that. And they actually won the game in the straight up against the Kings, and I got that money. So on yesterday, I saw that the line opened up against Denver, giving the Lakers plus nine and a half again. And I said, oh, man, the disrespect is real. Let me go ahead and get it in where I fit in and go ahead and – oh, man, these folks can't drive. Let me go ahead and get in where I fit in and go ahead and get this money. And lo and behold, LeBron James, they announced that he would not be playing. And I'm like, man, LeBron not playing. And the line, guess what the line went from? Plus nine and a half to plus 13 and a half. So LeBron James is worth the extra four points in a defeat. Five points, technically, uh, in a defeat. So says Vegas. But I'm going to sit up here and tell you something otherwise. I am going to tell you that I feel like the way the Lakers played the other night without LeBron James and without Anthony Davis, and they came away with the victory against Miami, I don't think that they would necessarily come away with the victory against Jokic because I think they will be out man because Thomas Bryant, who has been playing great on the offensive end, we'll see how well he'll be able to defend Jokic. One good thing is Gabriel comes in and he does well, and hopefully he just won't get into too much foul trouble. Uh, I think the Lakers still have a chance to make it close. I won't give them a victory because I just I don't think they can necessarily pull it out, but who knows? But at the end of the day, I just feel like, you know, I still might take that plus 13 and a half because I just I just feel like the Lakers are going to do a lot better than what people think. Dennis Schroeder, he can come out and have have a good game. Westbrook, if he can continue to anchor that second unit and get the number of assists that he has uh, and then the other role players step up, then I think that the Lakers can actually do something tonight. And I, I was hating that because if you look at the records, like I was saying, everything is getting real close. Oh, and on some more breaking news, <laughs> Anthony Davis, they say it might even be when he wrapped up on the court, when he got back to the Chris so they said that he is expected to perhaps come back this week. So if that is and indeed the case that Anthony Davis is going to come back this week, <laughs> hey, I'm trying to tell y'all something right now. Nobody going to want to see it, especially Alton Reeves come back and get healthy. You know, these outside shooters start playing better. Thomas Bryant, I would love to see now that Thomas Bryant is playing the way he's playing, at least some type combination for, for even if it's just a few minutes of game to see how it works out. Brian at center so he can dominate the paint and then AD at power forward in his natural position that he likes to play anyway because now that the Lakers have a true center then he could do that then you still got Gabriel and maybe Damon Jones if needed but I don't think so but you could still have Gabriel come in but I'm not saying all game but then AD could roam so much better on the defensive end with Thomas Bryant playing the, the five because think about it AD can close out on shooters with his length get out the three point shooters close out on shots uh, help guard the paint help on the weak side imagine Thomas Bryant on one side and then AD coming in for drivers that could really shut down the paint I think it could be a deadly combination I would be interested in seeing AD play a little bit of the four and Thomas Bryant in the five even in a let's say a, a particular lineup depending on who you matching up maybe against a team like Phoenix you know team like you know who knows because 
Now you got, you know, LeBron playing at a high level. You have AD playing at a high level. Dennis Schroeder, if he's continued to play at a high level and Russell Westbrook does what he does off the bench, I'm telling you right now, they don't want to see it. But anyway, man, been a hectic day for me. Every time I thought I was going to get to do something, then I made my video. Like I said, it crashed. I don't know what happened. Then I thought it uploaded on YouTube. I know somehow I deleted it off my phone. I don't know what happened. It just crashed. But at the end of the day, you know, I couldn't upload it because it was chopped up. So we're not going to worry about it. But I will come back with it for tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow I'll come back and talk about a Lakers victory. Uh, who knows? But if not, it's all good. Most important thing is LeBron James keeps that ankle healthy. Um, you know, maybe that's why that three-point shot hadn't been following, like I said. Keep that ankle healthy. Keep that leg healthy. And watch and see what they're going to do. And when he comes back, I'm telling you what, y'all already know what time it is. Because I think the Lakers are going to be playing a nationally televised game Thursday night against Dallas. And LeBron James want to get some little vengeance for what happened on Christmas Day. So, at the end of the day, um, you know, just want to say right on to the real and much love to these haters. I'm out.